Hello, and welcome to Rad Systems Studio. In today's video, we'll learn how to modify the default layout of an ad form without writing any code. This is part one of a two-part series. In this video, we'll configure the default ad page. In the next one, we'll add a details table ad form directly to the master tables ad form. With this, the details table entries will be saved automatically along with the master entry. And the best part, you won't need to write a single line of code. In this video, we'll build a prescription form as part of a simple clinic management solution. Here's how it works. When the doctor clicks add new prescription, a new page opens with fields like patient, prescription date, and next appointment date. Below these, a prescription details form lets the doctor dynamically add rows for details such as medicines, dosages, and duration. Manually coding? This functionality would take a lot of time, but with Rad System Studio, it's just a few clicks and you're done. Let me show you how. Let's get started. Before we set up the project, let's quickly review the database we'll use. To focus on showcasing Rad System Studio's features, I've intentionally kept the database structure for this clinic management system very minimalist. This one-to-many relationship between the prescriptions and prescription details tables is ideal for demonstrating master detail functionality offered by the Rad System Studio. To follow along, download the database SQL file from the link in the description. Open a database client like phpmiadmin and create a new database. Import the downloaded SQL file into your new database. Right, so with the database setup completed, we're all set to set up the project in Rad System Studio. Now let's create a new project in Rad System Studio. Select PHP Laravel for the back end and Bootstrap jQuery for the front end. Click Create Project button to proceed to the next step. Now here, Enter the project name, select a folder for publishing, and pick an icon set of your choice. Next, under database settings, select MariaDB, then enter your database credentials and choose the database we created earlier for our project. Finally, click this button and let Rad System Studio build the entire project structure automatically for us. Once the project is ready, save it and publish it to complete the setup. Right, so um, yeah, the application is published and now it's accessible on localhost at port 8050. Let's visit the link and check out how it looks right out of the box. Let's take a look at the form we'll be modifying. Click on the prescriptions menu, then click the add new prescription button. Yeah, I mean, this is how the default form with all the fields already in place. And here's the version we'll create by the end of this, this video. This is how we'll enhance the form to better meet the requirements. So let's do it. Let's dive into Rad Systems Studio and start making changes to the ad prescription form. First, select the prescriptions table from the left menu, then click on the add page. This brings up a list of all the fields in the table. Let's change the form layout property. It's set to horizontal by default, which means the labels and fields are placed side by side. However, the kind of form layout we are designing, it requires the fields to be placed below the labels. To achieve this, change the form layout property to vertical. Okay, so let's start by changing the display label for the patient ID field. Select the field, then update its display label to patient. Oh yeah, before we move on, here's something interesting. In the database, the patient ID in the prescriptions table is a foreign key. Rad System Studio has detected this relationship and automatically configured the patient ID field as a dropdown. As you can see here, it's set up to fetch and display the patient's first name for now. We're going to enhance this dropdown by including additional details like the last name, city, and country. To do this, select the patient ID field and find the select data source property in the properties panel. Click the button with three dots to open the configuration window. In the window, make sure the custom SQL option is selected. Edit the SQL query using the concat function to combine the first name, last name, city, and country. Once you've updated the query, click OK to save your changes and close the window. Next, we'll rearrange the fields. Let's move the next appointment date field below the prescription date field. 
To do this, simply drag the next appointment date field with your mouse and drop it in the desired position. Alternatively, you can use the arrow buttons to move it up or down. Before publishing the changes, let's take care of the timestamp fields for created and updated records. These fields will be hidden and set to automatically capture the current date and time. For the created field, select it from the list and change its field type to None, and set the default value to Date Time Now. Repeat the same steps for the updated field. Now, let me show you another useful feature of Rad System Studio. It lets you decide which fields appear on the ad and edit pages. To exclude a field, simply uncheck it. In this case, we'll exclude the created field from the edit page. Well, that's it for the field configurations. Let's save the project and publish it. Yeah, done. Let's refresh the browser to see the updates in action. The patient dropdown now displays all the details correctly and the next appointment date field is in his new position. Well, yeah, I mean, the form is already looking much better, right? But, um, well, if you ask me, I think with all the fields currently stacked, the form looks a bit lengthy. We can improve its appearance by placing some fields side by side in a single row, making it more compact. Also, the form doesn't utilize the entire available space, so let's adjust it to take up the full width of the space available. Let's make these final changes to wrap up today's video. We'll start by placing the patient, prescription date, and next appointment date fields side by side. Then we'll do the same for the symptoms and diagnosis fields. To begin, select the patient field from the list and go to the field width property. Here, we can specify any valid bootstrap grid class. Let's set this field to take up six columns by entering COOLSM6. Next, select the prescription date field and set its field width property to COOLSM3. Repeat this process for the next appointment date field and any other fields that need adjustment. Now, let's make the form occupy the entire available space. For that, click the design button for the ad page. You'll notice that the form is currently inside a bootstrap container. Select the row and change its class to container fluid to allow the form to stretch across the screen. Do the same for the page header section to maintain consistency with the layout. Finally, remove this column class to make sure the form stretches to full width available. That's it. We are done. Save the project and publish it. Let's refresh the browser to see the changes. Now the form looks exactly as we planned, and the best part? We achieved all of this without writing a single line of code. In the next video, we'll take this functionality one step further by adding dynamic form elements to include prescription details directly inside the same prescription form. For now, we'll wrap up this video. If you haven't downloaded Rad System Studio yet, get your free 7-day trial from our website. Buy your copy today and speed up your web app development process like never before. Subscribe to our channel for more such videos, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Right? So see you in the next video. Until then, I'm Rutaraj, signing off.